Well, he's here. feeling that I do. You just look at somebody and they smile real big at you and you get, it just fills you up with sunshine. Hallelujah. So good to see all the happy smiling faces. If you don't have one, get one while you're here, okay? Praise God. They're, Jesus is giving them out. Praise the Lord. Okay, you may be seated. We're going to go through the, our favorite part of the show. I mean, uh, the uh, service. And that is uh, our announcements and recognition of our guests and uh, we have you know I figured one uh, Edison would be enough I think we got another Edison here today praise God stand up brother Edison stand up hallelujah good to have Edison you, Jesus. And, uh, praise God is your last name Tira all right that's an easy name to spell. That's good. That's the kind of name you need. All this Theodorokopoulos uh, and all that. That's just tough. If I can get some of this Pagasanan. I mean, Pagasan. Uh, you don't know what it is. Ben O'Gwen or Ben the Wagon or Bunagin. Whatever. Y'all keep your name simple. All right. Good to have you there, brother. Uh, we have James Bryan. Praise the Lord. In case y'all didn't know, the other Edison or Addison is right next to there, brother. Raise your hand, brother Addison. I want everybody to see this. It's okay, praise God. These are important people. All right. VIPs. Praise God. Well, announcements today, in case you didn't know, this is September 2. Remember. Remember. Yeah, all right. You got it. Because so, good things are happening yes. in September. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Amen. Great week last week. Been a great week all week. Hallelujah. We opened a new church on the island of Crete in the city of Iraq. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. The dust storm in Israel. Amen. Blew Brother Norman back in the Athens. Praise God. And the Lord just making sure he left over there and came back over here. And uh, so uh, also next weekend, or actually they're coming in tonight, the, the, the Haman family from Colorado, uh, Denver, Colorado. And uh, so they will be with us next weekend. Uh, they won't make it in time for church or anything today, but they'll be here next weekend. On Saturday night, next weekend, Brother Heyman will be speaking. And um, his family is a, goes way back at Pentecost. And I've known his family for many, many years. And uh, I've never met this one. And because uh, he's about five generations down, and uh, I knew his his aunt and his father, I guess, or maybe it's his grandfather. But we're excited about them coming. We're going to have a music seminar. His uh, one of the Heyman sons is a is a kind of a prodigy musician, and uh, uh, he wants to be able to share something with our music department. So. Uh, Brother Sharoon uh, invites you to come, all the musicians to be here at 3 o'clock next Sunday afternoon for that. And uh, can you imagine, we hear about the four blood moons, 
and we've heard about the alignment of the stars and we hear all these things like that well I'm going to tell you what just in a few weeks on the 4th of October will be the 4th anniversary of the church in Glafada it's got to be a blowout it's got to be a great time amen all of this glory to God so uh, we want you to be able to uh, hear the good news <laughs> And uh, all nations conference, it'll be here before you know it. So just making plan. We're planning on bringing all the members from all of the island churches to town. Praise God. And uh, we just want to have a, it's going to be a great, great uh, weekend of uh, worship and music. Uh, it's going to be almost like homecoming a little bit. We have two guest speakers, and they're both names are Strickland, <laughs> and and I'm not one of them. <laughs> Amen. But uh, uh, Pastor Jonathan will be here. Now y'all know he's a good preacher. He says a lot, got a lot of words. He says lots of words. You got to listen careful to him when he talks. Amen. But he's powerful. And then we also have his brother Simeon will be here also. But most importantly, Ashley and Sienna will be here. And if that wasn't enough, Sister Holly will be here. She didn't get a very big clap. I don't know. Where are the musicians? Sister Holly is awesome. Amen. Right that praise God. And she's bringing a group. Praise God. And so it's going to be a great weekend. When the when when. When things are all over, after we, you're going to be tired to go to work on Monday, but you'll be refreshed in the spirit. Yes. Yes. Amen. And uh, if any of y'all really need a charge in your spiritual life, you know, it just seems like you're running in molasses or honey. You know, trying to do, I want to circle, but you, but you need to just kind of have a breakout. Yes. Does that make sense to anybody? Yes. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a remedy. I'm going to give you a syntagi. And a skisimotu stratopatu. Hallelujah. Y'all laughing as if that don't mean anything. It, it, it means breaking through the camp of the enemy. Hallelujah. All right. Anyhow. Anyhow. So, the remedy is, right down the street there's a pharmacy, okay? <laughs> How many really want to break that? You just really want to break Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Well, here's the remedy. You shall volunteer to go on a mission trip. I don't think you understand what I'm talking about. Hey, Amen. When, when you go on, it, you, we had such a great time in the Crete with the sisters there. They're so hungry for the fellowship and so on. Sister Marika, that's nice that when you go to Corfu, Kerkira, Dirita Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sister Virgie, Sister uh, Mercedes, hallelujah. And although they have volunteered and have gone on these trips, they come back just excited. Amen. 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 In fact, I plan on going on another mission trip. It's just so exciting, praise the Lord. And it, it will just give you a, a, a supercharge, I mean, like maybe nothing else can do. You know why that is, I believe? Because God's heart is in missions. Yes. God's heart is reaching lost souls. Amen. And somehow, 
Last time they went to Crete, there was about four or five of them went. They tell me Brother Eddie blubbered like a baby the whole time. I ain't never seen Eddie's macho. Amen. But they say he was crying like a baby. Amen. I got to see that. They say that's what the testimony was. Everybody was crying. Amen. Because just the feeling, the love of God and the, and the hunger in people's hearts to have more of God. You, you just can't buy that at the Farmaquillo, okay? And uh, so then uh, Bible school for the next few weeks or maybe a month for the month are selling... For the day. Oh, just for the day. Just for the day. You mean Sister Mary only gave you one day? Uh, two Sundays. Two months. Oh, 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 all right. The Bible school will be selling refreshments and food down in the kitchen and fellowship hall after services. Uh, can you give them a hand for that great effort they're going to do? That's to help them to raise funds to do missions work. They're going on some missionary tours. Praise the Lord. And, and things are getting exciting around here. Things are really getting exciting around here. You need, if you're not involved, get involved. Hallelujah. Don't be left, don't be the one standing back and look, look at all the fun everybody's having. Nobody wants me to have. You've got to jump on the merry-go-round. Hallelujah. To have some fun. Praise the Lord. Amen. All right, Brother Joe Moraski. Hallelujah. Amen. Also, if you want to volunteer to go on a mission trip, that's the man right there. Okay? Amen. You're going to fix that haircut. I don't know. <laughs> Amen. So, somebody told me, you need to go get a Filipino haircut. I said, man, I won't have no hair. Let nobody know who I am. i got to have a little bit of hair. Thank God. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Praise the Lord. No offense, Brother Lito. But he gives a good haircut, though. I've seen the results. <laughs> Amen. It lasts a long time. Okay, Bible school is okay uh, for the missions trip. Brother Norman will be speaking at the um, the uh, Bible school initiation service today at 5 o'clock. I don't know what his theme will be, but it's just left open for him to speak upon whatever subject he chooses. And so Bible school is starting back officially today with this uh, uh, initiation service. Uh, classes will begin next week. Praise the Lord. Uh, on the back, there is opening prayer. Praise and bar. We did that. Okay. Is that all? I have to sit down now? <laughs> okay. Praise God. God is good all the time. Amen. Oh, yeah. There's only one thing I do better than giving the announcements, and that's picking up the offering. It got quiet. <laughs> I gave mama two euros this morning to put in that offering. But she didn't think it was enough. She gave me that look. So we're going to ask the ushers to prepare themselves to receive the tithes and the offering today. Hallelujah. You know, this is, this is what makes so much of this possible. Praise God. I told y'all I was going to get another air conditioner, but when I said that, some of the people told me we don't need an air conditioner, so they went out and bought some fans. You know what? That fan don't blow cold air. That fan just blows the air that's around it. And if it's hot air, it's going to blow hot air. Praise God. But anyhow, God help us find some 